Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Today I'm going to be building the Kibio Sync. The Sync is a split 75% keyboard with a twist. Like a lot of 75% boards, it has a column on the right for keys like page up, page down, home, delete, etc. But what sets it apart is that it offers an optional 2x5 macro column on the left with support for a rotary encoder. It comes with QMK support right out of the box, optional per key LEDs. This is seriously one of the more unique boards I've ever seen and I'm really excited to be able to build it for you so let's hop in. Here's what I used for my keyboard build. First, of course, you'll need the sync PCBs themselves. Now there are two PCBs, of course, it's a split layout, and there are actually options for which side of the board the macro section is on, so just note that when you buy it from the website. You'll also need some kind of mounting system, so they offer two different options on the Kibio website. The first being you can buy an acrylic case from Kibio. That's what I have. Um, they were nice enough to send me one per the color that I asked for. Really excited about that. But you can also just buy a plate kit from the website as well. I personally love Gateron Blacks, so that's what I'll be using. But again, any MX style switch is gonna be fine. So this is a split keyboard, which means that there are two halves that are actually connected via a cable. Um, and in this keyboard, it actually uses a USB-C cable, which is also offered on the Kibio website. Now there are also two optional rotary encoders, depending on your configuration. Um, I'm gonna be doing both rotary encoders, so I'll need two knobs as well. And of course, you'll need stabilizers. Now, if this is your first split keyboard kit, um, you'll have to learn a little bit about what stabilizers you'll need for your kit. Now, what I mean by that is you won't be using any six and a half or seven U stabilizers. You'll probably be using all of the smaller kind, um, probably about six in total. Optionally, you can also add per switch LEDs. The pads are there. You can just go ahead and solder on your own LEDs. I'm choosing not to do that, but to each his own. Also, lastly, before we jump in, huge shout out to Kibio. They have been awesome to work with. Um, really a pleasant company just in general. Please check them out if you're watching this video. Just look at what they have. I, I would be floored if you look at their website and can't find something that you would like to build. So check them out. Okay, so the best way I found to do this after you've got your stabilizers in place is to um, put a couple switches in your plate and then feed them through your PCB to the other side, um, solder them, and then you're ready to finish populating. If you don't do that, it's hard to get all the switches through the PCB, so I would just start with a few and we'll, uh, we'll go from there.
overall, I really like this kit. I mean, I'm, I'm being honest with you. I think it's a really cool kit. Um, I've never built or used a split keyboard like this before, and it's taking some getting used to, but it's kind of refreshing to use a keyboard kit like this. Uh, it also is kind of ergonomic, you know, the way that you can turn the boards away from each other and keep your wrists straight. I like that. Also, I'm always a fan of rotary encoders. I'm always a fan of macro sections. So having the option for both of those is very nice. Um, also, depending on how you like the size of your keyboard, if you like, you know, full size or you like 60%, this might be kind of in the middle for you. 75% for me is perfect. So I like the size of it. Not too big, not too small. Thank you so much for watching this keyboard video. Um, if you're at all interested in a 75% split keyboard with a bunch of different configuration options, please check out Keybio. They've got not just the sync, but they've got tons of other options out there um, that I think you'll find something that you like. So please check them out. Um, and thank you again for watching. If you would be so kind as to like and subscribe, uh, share this with your friends. Let me know in the comments, maybe another keyboard kit that I could do um, that you've seen out there that maybe I haven't heard of. So thank you guys again. See ya.